Okay, hi. Um, I, my name is Fenty Kaliman. I have lived in San Francisco for over 30 years. I decided to organize the San Francisco Indonesian Film Festival in 2010 because I noticed that there is a need to promote Indonesian culture, Indonesian arts, Indonesian people uh, to in the Bay Area. Uh, nama saya Sharon Geraldine and uh, aku murid di sini, murid internasional sejak tahun 2011. Belajar di UC Berkeley right now, but I'm also helping Tante Venti on the side for the uh, design aspect of San Francisco Indonesian Film Festival. Uh, hello, nama saya Elena Shukri. Um, I am uh, the co-curator for this film festival. And there is a, not a fourth person that couldn't be here. Uh, her name is Michelle Anindia. She is now in Bali, uh, enjoying herself, but she is co-curator with Elena. Hi, Michelle. I wish you were here. <laughs> we have our first festival in 2012, and this is a festivalnya to setiap dua tahun saja, karena banyak kerjanya, and then um, semuanya di staff oleh volunteer. Jadi, um, ya cukup lama lah, dua tahun untuk um, prepare ini. Kami harus nonton banyak um, film-film Indonesia in order to come up with the selection. Kami biasanya seleksi film-film yang enggak terlalu lama, umpamanya yang dua tahun uh, kemarin gitu. Uh, kalau yang baru-baru ya, Agak susah ya untuk kita dapat. I I don't really like get involved in the choosing of films, but when I first joined this um, organization with Michelle, we had this vision of like actually kind of digging up all the um, you know old films that have been buried. My father's years, you know, like those years where um, a lot of people were. I mean, a lot of directors were not able to like express their work in public because they're pro like there were probably like um, stricter rules in in terms of like what movies can be shown to the public and so, so on so we were thinking oh there are so many like amazing shows like Benjamin for example you know like it was an old one of the uh, like an older show that I really like when I was young and so I thought why why don't we show Indonesian people here that Hey, look, our old arts. Like, don't forget about them. You know, they had a lot of good messages that that we can learn from. And yeah, so that that was like just kind of one of the kinds of films. Paling tua tahun tujuh puluh an. I mean, like as far as the kind of movies that me and Michelle are familiar, more like more familiar with. But I don't know. Maybe like if if we could get a hold of like older older files from like the 50s it will be super yeah super great for this year we had a we had a um, call for entry um, that was one of the um, things that we did for um, and we sent it out to IKJ and other institutions in throughout Indonesia and we also did research and um, uh, we looked we looked up other film festivals where Indonesian films were going and were being accepted and Indonesian films were being screened at and um, that's how we came up with our pool of selection I mean for the films um, tahun 2012 itu sekitar enam films uh, tiga. tiga films 2012 oh ya yeah, 2014 itu lebih 2012 tiga 2014 tiga juga Terus dua dua ribu lima belas satu, and then dua ribu enam belas tahun ini uh, kita akan ada lima feature film and uh, beberapa short films juga. Okay, setiap tahun tuh beda beda ya, tapi kurang lebih um, in general uh, umur average 
around 40 umur 40 dan kebanyakan uh, non Indonesian. Uh, jadi kami ini mau attract Indonesian American yang tinggal di sini untuk um, get interested in watching the movie, getting to know their roots. Dan juga untuk mahasiswa yang sekolah di sini. So in last year, uh, we show a film um, which um, Sharon can tell you. Go ahead. Oh, so uh, last year kita screen film The Look of Silence. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's pretty famous. It was like a a companion film of The Act of Killing, like Oscar nominated film. Terus aku dan Michelle kayak we think that kind of film is very eye opening because not only is a documentary, you know, it shows some real things that people, especially youth like us studying in America abroad, to, like we have to be aware of what's happening in our country. So like kind of shifting from like Tante Venti's initial purpose of like showing this as a form of entertainment like you know cultural I, I don't know entertainment but we were we were thinking more about education like hey we have to educate ourselves what's really happening in our country so this film is perfect we try to attract more students by actually telling directly to schools like where I go to school to, as a state university USF blah 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 and we actually had some students coming like the ratio between um, non-Indonesian and Indonesian actually improved in the sense that there, is, there was more Indonesian people coming and also young Indonesian, not 40 something years old. And yeah, so I think this year, I, I still want to keep that going, you know, like actually have more younger people, younger generation, just because I feel like Um, these films are very important in like different ways to the, for them, especially them bringing their you know they're, they're basically the future of Indonesia. They're they're bringing their potential back home one day, right? So by screening them such um, films that show some like true identity of what Indonesia is, well, that's kind of subjective, but you know what I mean. It's like films that are created by Indonesian talents, I think it's a way to actually get them do something, you know, for their country. So, it, it was by Joshua Oppenheimer. It's, it has a really good rating. So first, I watched, I caught that film with Michelle at San Francisco International Film Festival. So we didn't know that there was Uh, a companion film of The Act of Killing. The Act of Killing was very powerful, and I thought this film would be interesting. I want to know what this is about. And it it was, okay, so it's it's called The Look of Silence, and in Indonesian it's called Senyap. And it literally made everybody in the room senyap. In the room speechless, like it was very eye-opening. So what I noticed is that majority of the people sitting in, like in that cinema was, Americans, like locals, they're they don't look Indonesian to me, and so I was, I was curious, like why this film showed kind of like the ugly side of what actually happened in Indonesia in the 1960s. It was a, a very ugly genocide. For, um, in my opinion, I guess like controversial background like we don't really know exactly what caused it but a lot of people died because of this um, thing and until now the people that committed you know all those crimes political crimes are still roaming around in Indonesia and they still have powers so to me this kind of thing have to be stopped and who can potentially stop them not stop as in like stop don't do that but like actually creating a better you know Indonesia are us, like people like us, people who have better access to better education and what we're doing here is to actually still remember about our hometown and then so this, 
I don't really want to tell like what the documentary is about because people should totally watch it. But it's eye-opening, and more Indonesian students, I think, in America should watch it. Okay, and that's when is that going to be screened? It was. It was already screened. Oh, it's already screened. Yeah, it was already screened. But I, like, it was kind of like a test. Like you know, we test like would Indonesian students be more interested to watch if we actually market it to them, you know, like, hey, this is about, you know, our country and you, you can do something about it. And then they actually did come, like, instead of just like, the, hey, uh, we have very cool documentaries about puppies and cats in Indonesia, <laughs> like, like, you know, something that is more educational and... Okay, All right. so the one that's coming, Indonesian festival. Can you tell me more about it? Okay, so this year, 2016, we're going to have five feature films. Um, we have a documentary film called Biji Kopi Indonesia. It's the aroma of heavens. It's a, a st story about the coffee experience and the coffee journey. Um, I watched it and I was very impressed and it 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 left me with a lot of very deep appreciation of, of coffee. So now when I drink coffee, uh, it's so different, um, not like before. And what you know, people call it have a cup of Java. Why? Why not a cup of Colombia? Well, this film will show you why. And then once you see this documentary film, your coffee experience and your coffee journey will be totally different. <laughs> and then we have a um, film, um, Tiga Nafas Likas, or Three Breaths of Likas. It is a biopic of um, Likas Turangan from a young girl to uh, and to her adult life and how she overcome poverty, education, and well, in the end of the story, um, she married um, Lieutenant General Jamin Ginting, who is a Pahlawan. Um, he fought uh, in the Dutch revolutions, in the revolution against the Dutch. And there were so many nuances, nuances and stories about this character's Likas, which is very, very um, touching. And she is a, a Batakaro woman. So you see, uh, you learn about the Batakaro culture. And so what, what all this film is basically bringing um, cultures and arts and the people of Indonesia that you never know. For example, I was born in Indonesia, but I don't know much um, beyond Jakarta. But through films, I learn more about the Gayo Highlands in Aceh, the Ruteng coffee plantation in NTT, and the struggle of women's life in Papua. That brings me to the third film, which is Tana Mama. It was produced by a native Papuan woman. Um, she is probably the perfect person um, that could possibly bring such a emotional, um, hot tugging, and not to say the beautiful landscape of Papua. Um, that makes me want to go to Papua one of these days. Now, there is another um, much more light-hearted light movie. It's called Kapan Kawin. Um, it's the English translation is When Will You Get Married by um, an excellent, awesome film uh, maker, 
Odi Harahap. And I think Elina can tell you um, how awesome the movie is because I was watching the movie with her and, well, Elina can tell you. <laughs> well, um, 